Welcome to Tolaris Agent Training, Lesson 2. In this lesson, you're going to learn how to create a customer record, you're going to learn how to use GeoQuote and to tell the difference between real-time quotes and solution requests, learn about what the results mean in GeoQuote, including quote details, commission, and lastly, how to request paperwork for your customers. So with that, here we go. As you've probably noticed, everything in our back office system revolves around our CRM. Here you can see customer records that are sitting in our test accounts inbox. But in order to get customer records into the system, you can use, like we mentioned in lesson one, the easy button, or you can use our preferred method, and that is simply by clicking on the create new customer record tab here in the left hand navigation menu. This brings us to the new customer record entry portal. This is where you key in new entries that will go into the CRM as a customer record. I've already taken the liberty to fill in our information here beginning with company name, lead generation agent ID. This is where you enter in a lead or VAR agent's ID if you're working with someone, but if this is your own lead, leave that blank. Customer notes, again, not required. Contact information of the person who is the main contact for this business. Of course, the business location information. This information here is critical. You must type in accurate information here because this will dictate whether you get good quotes or whether your quotes are slightly inaccurate. Next, we'll go to the confirmation page. It will show you all the information you entered here just to make sure that it's all accurate. And if everything looks good, finalize your submission by clicking on add a new customer button here. This will take you to the customer record page. This page is the bread and butter of the Telera CRM system. It starts with some basic information about the customer. It also allows you to add tasks for this customer here. You can add notes to this customer. Highly recommended so when you come back you can remember what you were doing. There's private notes that no one will ever see except for you. A place where you can attach documents. <laughs> wink wink, signed paperwork. Never lose customer paperwork ever again by letting your customer paperwork live in the cloud by using this link here. Agents with access, click this button if you want to add other agents to help you on this account and our system will split the commission automatically with them. A paper trail of this customer record and a history of commissions that have come in for this customer. We continue our tour of the customer record here on the right hand side of the page beginning with solution requests. Again, need help with a custom quote or manual solution? Click here and help will be on its way. The location information, if you need to enter more locations, simply click here to add one more location or click here to upload a spreadsheet of bulk locations. You've got a history of proposals, VAR equipment history, customer contacts, order info. This is where you're going to add orders in the event that you do get assigned paperwork from this customer. And lastly, email templates. If you find yourself emailing the same thing to your customers, you can use some of our templates or you can create some of your own to cut down on some of the repetition. Lastly, outgoing email which will show you the things that are pending send and also the things that have been sent in the past. And now, time for the good stuff. Once you've generated the customer record, you're ready to start running quotes. The quotes are over here on the right hand side under the word GeoQuote. GeoQuote is divided up into five sections. D for data, V for voice, that includes VoIP and SIP, I for integrated, M for multi-location networks, and N for network services. If you ever need a little hint, obviously just mouse over and all the hints you need will be right there. So let's start off with a data quote. This brings us to GeoQuote Step 2. The main thrust of Step 2 is to ask you for a specific service type. Here we've listed all of the types of service that are broadband related or data related, starting with business DSL all the way up to gigabit ethernet. You'll notice here on the right there's a real time next to some of them and a manual quote next to others. Real time, of course, denotes that this will process in real time through our carrier API system. And the manual quote means somebody here on the Telera staff will research this for you and get back to you. All the information for the location address is pre-populated from the location record. Simply click here and within about 30 seconds you'll be looking at quotes. This is the customer results page, the real secret sauce of the Telera's program. All of the basic information about your quote can be found here at the top. 
Next, you've got filtering options so you can customize the display down below as you see fit. And lastly, we actually have the quote lines themselves. Now, here in the quote results, you'll notice that there are a lot of quote lines with different colors. These first three are shaded blue. That, of course, stands for cross product. These are results from a category that you didn't specifically ask for, but we think are relevant. In this case, it's cable internet access, which is equivalent to a data T1. Here on, in this column, column the total, you'll see the MRC of each and every product service. Over here on the left, you'll see the bandwidth type. Again, this is download and this is upload speed. Does it include a router? Yes or no. Is there an install fee? Yes or no. And probably most important, how long is the term contract on this deal? Now the real brilliance of this system is in this column called commission. Here you will see to the penny exactly how much commission you will earn if you sell this product and service at this exact price. That's the real secret sauce of the Telera system is that we can marry our accounting system and our quoting system together to make sure that you can balance your needs versus the needs of your customer. Now, one of the things we want to make you aware of is that promotional pricing is not shown by default. However, it is here, and if you'd like to see it, one click and you'll see all of the green rows. Again, you can see promotional pricing. For some of the lower bandwidth products here like cable, we actually like to hide those by default because, frankly, agents really don't need to be playing in $60 DSL sales. Leave those to the uh, online order forms and the direct reps. But we've also got promotions offered by just regular carriers. Just scroll down through the system and you'll see them pop up, like this one for Mexo, for example. Now, to view the details of the quote, you simply need to locate this little details link here, which is attached to every single quote line. Simply click it and you'll see exactly what it is this company is offering your customer, whether it's static IP addresses, web basics, including email accounts, disk space, also, if it comes with web hosting or not, and everything else that applies to this customer, including, last but not least, current promotions and spiffs for you. After making the sale, you're going to need to generate some paperwork for the customer. All you need to do is simply click on the Request Paperwork icon, located right here in each quote line. When you click it, one of two things are going to happen. Number one, if the carrier's paperwork is not automated, it will send a paperwork request via email to your carrier channel manager as well as your Telerus channel manager. Now, for some carriers like Comcast, the request paperwork button will actually take you in to a paperwork generator. Simply follow the steps here on the form and within a couple of clicks, you will actually have paperwork delivered right to your email address. Simply click here, generate contract, and done. I think I just generated paperwork in, uh, I think, less than 30 seconds. All I need to do is return to the customer record, look in the document section, and voila, I've got customer paperwork ready to go. Now, once you get your customer to sign the paperwork, you have to do two things. First and foremost, you need to send this information to the carrier. Please fax them your order first. The next thing you need to do is add the order record right here. Simply click on this button, select the carrier that the customer selected, and complete this paperwork and hit the add order. It is super important that you remember this step because this is what's going to help us track this order all the way through to provisioning and attach it to your commission report. So again, very important. And this concludes lesson two of the Telerius Agent Back Office Training Series. Thank you for your time. I hope that you'll understand a little bit better about how to create a customer record, to run a quote, view your commissions in the quote details, request paperwork, upload signed paperwork, and lastly, add an order record to your customer record to get paid. You're well on your way to becoming a happy and productive and wealthy member of the Telerius Agent community. Thank you so much for your time. My name is Patrick Oborn, and thank you for attending this training. See you in lesson number three.